Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Windows 8.1 Delta, which is a customized version of Windows 8.1 that promises to run modern applications on a Windows Vista slash 7 like experience. I actually came across this project or group of projects um, because I stumbled across a video about Windows XP Delta. And upon my research, I realized that there are four versions of what is called Windows Delta. Um, as their own website states, the Windows Delta series is a series of modified Windows operating systems that restore beta features and visual aesthetics along with fixing inconsistencies. As I mentioned, there is XP Vista 7 and 8.1. And of course, each section has its own you know, details about the operating system, screenshots, um, all sorts of things. But in this video, we're going to take a look at Windows 8.1 since I actually did quite enjoy Windows 8.1 myself. Um, but according to the screenshots here, we can see that it does actually look like Windows 7, um, brings back some beta features, um, and all kinds of fun stuff. So, let's get into it. And here we go, we're going to go ahead and boot up the operating system. I find it interesting that the ISO files are hosted on archive.org, so that is fun. Um, the Windows logo isn't there, it just says Windows, which was a beta feature of a previous version of Windows 8. Not sure what that is about. I'm not sure I like these background images, but the first thing that strikes me is that it says copyright uh, 2022. Um, so that must have been when this was built or compiled. All right, and it actually says Windows 8.1 Delta. I'm not sure if there's really anything different about, you know, actual Delta. I do like this squared off design here. I'm liking the window borders that I'm seeing, but I don't like this background. I mean, I would prefer something like the setup screen on Windows 11, something like that. But we're now installing Windows 8.1 Delta and we'll be in the desktop in just a few minutes. All right, and here we go. It is asking us for a product key, but we did have the option to skip. Um, and now we can actually name our computer. Uh, so we're just gonna call this Delta. Or we'll leave it at the default color settings, express settings. Uh, one thing that, I mean, obviously I just noticed, um, it actually did bring us into the out-of-box experience. Quite a few custom Windows ISOs actually take you straight into the desktop to kind of, you know, skip the uh, this process because sometimes this process can break the customizations um, but this one actually led us into the out-of-box experience right and here we are into the desktop we're gonna go ahead and install VMware tools that was a weird sound I liked it though um, so that we can get a better experience here and then we'll take a look at this operating system but so far I'm kind of impressed a little bit I'm a little confused but um, hopefully VMware tools will install. It is taking quite a long time. While that does that, let's read the README. This OS hasn't been updated in just about a year. Um, it tells you about system requirements, blah, blah, blah. Uh, bug reporting, you can join the Discord server. Um, there's really, you know, credits for everything else, everyone that participated in this project. Um, okay, I don't know why VMware Tools is taking forever. This is actually really strange. The only time I've seen this happen is when it was failing. I mean, we are at 100% CPU usage for some reason. Or, nope, now we're down to 13. So I don't know what this is doing. Um, so what we're just going to do is I'm just going to change the screen resolution and we're going to call it a day. And just like that, we don't even need VMware Tools. We're just going to move that down out of the way. And here we are in Windows 8.1 Delta. First thing is the background is like the Windows 7 out-of-box experience background, which I like. Um, the taskbar looks very much like Windows 7. In fact, it's almost an identical clone. Uh, calendar looks the same. I don't know what that is. Uh, we've got our volume mixer, which, there we go, is a different sound. Um, networks brings up the regular Windows 8 networks, and then we have... 7 plus taskbar tweaker which we can kind of play with settings if we want bluetooth and the usb by default we have the store pinned which is a full screen app that look it's so weird going from that arrow look to this now if i recall correctly this is an earlier build of the store because the icon was not like that in windows but we're not going to actually be able to open that because there is no connection to the store because they shut it down we are using 46.7 gigabytes of 59.6 so we're using just about 13 gigabytes which isn't bad typical windows install um, while we're in file explorer let's take a look at this border here 
I'm used to Windows 11 windows, so I forgot that Windows actually did used to be square, um, now that I think about it. Um, but I do like this kind of arrow fake glass look, um, as well as these X buttons up here. I really wish Microsoft would bring back some color up here because I, I really like having the red X button there. Then we have Internet Explorer, not Microsoft Edge, but my Internet Explorer, which should be Internet Explorer version 11, the version that did come with Windows 8.1. Opening the start menu, we can see that this is a, I believe it's start is back, no, it's open shell. Um, by default, we have documents, Internet Explorer, pictures, recent places, sidebar, we have sidebar, um, so get off the topic there, um, Windows Defender, Windows DVD Maker, Fax and Scan Media Player, Windows Update, XPS Viewer, um, and a whole bunch of other stuff, including games. Um, Purple Places on here, Free Cell. I don't know if that, I can't remember if this one came with Windows 7 or not. Um, and of course, apps. And these are all your modern day apps um, from Windows 8. Um, and then you have a whole bunch of other stuff. I mean, here's your Delta settings, the settings for all of the tweaks, open shell, new old explorer, arrow glass, things of that nature. Um, but I did, I do like that sidebar is installed and we can go ahead and add widgets, um, Windows 7 widgets to our desktop. I was never able to solve any of these. I'm not very good at these kind of puzzles, but, um, you know, they were, you know, they're here. Taking a look at the backgrounds uh, that we get, I mean, this is all, I mean, we get Windows 8 RTM, um, which brings us back to, you know, your typical Windows 8 level. Windows 8 release preview. Um, Windows 7 lines and colors. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different themes here. I mean, th this is a classic Windows 7 theme right here. I mean, this, this just feels like Windows 7. But we'll go back to the Windows 7 theme that, oh wow, that actually did change some things. Um, you know, your corners are rounded now. Um, that actually did change. It now looks more like Windows 7. Let's go back to Windows because that's what this was meant to look like. Um, well, yeah. To me, this feels like, honestly, this feels like what Windows 9 would have been if it was released. It, you know, Microsoft doubling back and going back to what they know works um, while still incorporating parts of the modern OS. And here is the start screen, of course, still included here with all of our apps um, because I, I just don't think there's a way to get rid of that on modern Windows 8. With that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe for new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. Let me know what you think about this custom operating system in the, in the comments below. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.